Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Last time, I picked up some bloody shields, but I'm going to remove one of them because I've confirmed that you can only unlock one at a time, or, well, uncurse it one at a time. If you have multiple bloody shields equipped, like I was doing with Idea and Tiz there, whoever is higher in the party formation will have priority for uncursing the shield. So there's no point in equipping more than one. My interpretation is that the game has an independent counter for battles fought with a bloody shield equipped, not being tied to a specific bloody shield or character so yeah just the one that's all we need so what's going on uh, there you are i've been waiting for what we came as fast as we could what's going on master what's with the crowd someone trying to burn down the gardens or something it would seem a baker of sorts has set up shop in these parts what kind of baker his wares are quite literally selling like hotcakes and so I find my path obstructed. Then kill them. Did you say hotcakes? Wasn't there someone who had those earlier? Or the first time around? Let's uh -oh. hear it, you schlubs. My darling's pancakes are to die for. Oh, great. Not again. And his face is to die for. We go wild! Now, all together, we're in heaven! You're about to be, if you don't get out of my way. This sounds strangely familiar. Man, that's even worse than before. We're never getting past this crowd. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, please let us through. Everybody move! Hey, what's the big idea? Get your tuchus in line like the others. Uh, don't you remember who we are? Like, the mur the whole murdering and all that? I knew it. It's her. What about her? Huh? Who are you, Brett? Oh, you don't... Okay, I guess they don't remember. First time around. Wait, I got it. You're the ones from my dreams. Is that not good? Amy, is something the matter? Why, it's those kids from our dreams. Oh, you had the same one? Wicked. Night after night, we have the same dream. One in which you guys kick our ever-loving butts. That's the general idea, yes. Why, I could recite Amy's dying letter word for word. What letter? I woke up with a new sense of purpose. We gave up fighting and opened this shop together. Oh. Well, okay, good, good. If only we could find a way to get past five people. Business is booming, and we never leave each other's side. It's worse than a locked door. Talk about divine. Ain't that right, darling? Are you eating his pancakes too? Um, right. Or whatever uh, you're making, hotcakes. They remember, but they think it was all just a dream. Yeah, we'll just let them think that and move along then. Yes, and just look how happy they are. They are? Anyway, uh, we'll be going now. <laughs> Have a great life together and everything. Well, goodbye! Heaven forbid you've come all this way. What do you mean? Uh, no, we're fine. Uh, honest. We'll be all right. Just shut up and listen, okay? Oh, okay, never mind. Yikes. Hey, listen! Seeing your faces and thinking about what you did to us, oh, it really makes my blood boil. Well, that, that, that was just a, a dream. Dream or not, I swore to myself you get your just desserts. But you died. Ooh, oh, darling, let me fight too. I thought you said you gave up the fighting. What? Oh, come on, are you people serious? 
We didn't do anything to you this time around. <laughs> I did promise to treat you to the best pancakes you ever tasted, didn't I? Yeah, and it didn't work out too well for Magnolia. Ready, Amy? You betcha! Just watch! We're a match made in heaven! For boss time! Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. You opened your shop, business is booming, you should be happy. <laughs> what possible reason could you have to fight us? Darn straight we're happy! My darling opened up this shop just for me! Right here in my old neck of the woods, if you can believe it. Oh. These woods are where the two of us first met. They hold many fond memories for me and my sugar king, Amy. <laughs> did he just say? I think he did. What? Aw, oh, come on, darling. How many times have I told you not to call me that in public? Ha <laughs> ha. See me drop dead of embarrassment? Yes. Oh, how could I be so careless? Yep. Definitely happy together. I think we're still gonna have to fight them. Fine. <laughs> Let's give them a grand opening they won't forget. Is it just me or are your eyes on the pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. First things first, as usual, meteor rain. Then go a couple more there. With Idea, I want her to use Rock Storm to hit both of them, hopefully. And then, let's see, I don't know that it especially matters who I target with Magnolia there. Now, both of these guys have something that I want to steal. So, let's see what we can get out of them. Let's go mug each of them once. And then get a good Godspeed strike on Amy there. And that should be good. Okay, well, it doesn't matter that Idea went first there they'll still both be alive and we don't need to examine them because we already did that in the regular new game but all oh right we got them both as far as the items go yeah the holy spells will hit uh random targets with the ring spellcraft Sorry, I'm done for. again seems like i'm always letting you down yep how can you say that amy you are my sugar, my spice, the spatula beneath my wings. Giggity. My sweet, sweet sugar cake. But that's okay, we can take this guy down now. Yeah, look at that damage. I don't know why each hit of Holy dealt so much more damage there with one target than two. I mean, you got four hits. They just choose a random target. It's almost like they've got like some split damage effect or something with the rain spellcraft. But that shouldn't be the case. I mean, per hit, not the total damage, that is. So, yeah, kind of weird how that works. But in any case, we got We got them. Hooray! They kicked our rears again, darling. Well, you'll live. And scared our customers away. Oh, the indignity. Well, you are the ones who attacked us. It's all right, darling. Your fans will be back. I just know it. No one can resist your pancakes for long. Well, this wouldn't be the first game I've, or JRPG that I've played that had someone selling cakes in a dungeon. Amy, my sweet. With no foot traffic at all. Enough with the lovey-dovey. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, perhaps you could set up shop here next. What do you mean? They just did. Oh, what's that? What the heck? An invitation? From who? From Gathladio. The estate of House Geniorgia. Oh, we... We wrote... I mean, we did write that, of course. Your sweets really are to die for. They'd go over great back home, I know it. Just don't kill anyone with them. Go there and ask for Alfred. He'll set you up with everything you need. We totally didn't tell him about that. <laughs> what a terrible chore. But very well, I will consider it. 
Oh, and if you wish to pass, be my guest, I suppose. So, why are we doing any of this here? Thank you. Let's get packing, woman. Uh, come you zooming? <laughs> woman? Woman? You're cruising for a bruising, mister. But you are. Here's wishing you two lovebirds bliss. Oh, th they have plenty of that, I'm sure. You too, cutie. Well, goodbye! <clears throat> well, shall we? Thank you for supporting us from the sidelines! Whoa, Master! Where were you? Ah, oh, yes. I simply had to investigate the secret of our opponent's confections for myself. Oh, okay. You were eating pancakes. Why not? And with my last bite, I identified their secret ingredient. Yogurt. Not that. Anything but that! You didn't save a bite for us? Snap, how just? Ha ha. But, uh, oh right, so we got all that taken care of. I think I'm just gonna leave my setup alone here. Can we even, like, no, we can't go in there. Okay. But we've gotten all the treasures around here, so... Yeah, what's going on back here? Uh-oh. A lot of cats. So... Wow, look at all these cats. Wonder why they're all here. Yes, it is said that cats from all corners of the world congregate here, in this place. But why? One might say it is a sort of grand shrine to the feline. Do they get, like, lots of catnip here? That's a meowsing! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... What's going on here? Can we not, like, talk to any of these guys? I mean, we got the asterisk for it and everything. You don't have to talk to all of these guys. You just gotta, I guess, talk to the one at the end or something. Whatever's going on here. I don't know why this one's so important. Tsubaki, my loyal companion. Oh, okay. So this is where you two first met. They did? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Whoa, got lots of catnip for you. He has been abandoned by the clouder, just as I remember. What's a clouder? He seemed so despondent I could not bear it. And so I resolved to bring him with me. Oh, well, maybe he could uh, help you out when he gets bigger. The rejection he had suffered at the pause of his peers had left deep scars. It was not easy to earn his trust. Come, Tsubaki. Have a kipper. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he remembers me. There, that's a good kitty. Oh, okay. Well, I thought, uh... You had the... You're, you adopted him, or... The, he adopted you! Before the game started. Hey, little kitty. Remember your buddy, Woody, idiot? Remember when you nearly murdered my friend here? Ha <laughs> huh, I never liked cats anyway. Bop him on the nose. <laughs> I don't think cats like having their noses tickled, idiot. Oh, okay, or not. It's a loud motor. Now we have work to do. What do you mean? What's this? You found the compass, you say? Oh, yeah, we got it. All in one piece. Why, if the Kaiser were to hear of this, 
You must hide it and quickly. Oh, uh, well, where would we do that? Shove it up my ass? I know just the place. Yes, deep in Florum, in the hidden village of Sagita. Oh, well, thanks. We already been there, though. What's going on? Yes, it's working. What do you mean? What's working? Huh? What's going on? Shh. Listen. Okay, there's just cats meowing like before. You remember the cat girl who works for the Kaiser and her network of feline spies, right? By planting false information, we're going to lure the Skyhold to Florum. Then we fire the SP cannon and... Oh, right. That's brilliant! Brilliant! Preparations are complete. Come whenever you are ready. Hey! Yeah, I totally forgot uh, back in, uh, well, the start of the chapter when we... Gave all the pieces of the pendant to a few others here. <laughs> I guess just because it'd been so long since that point, I forgot about it. All right, to Saji to everyone. Tsubaki and I shall remain here and await word of your success. Oh, yeah, why are we speaking with parentheses now? We must ensure that every cat in the network hears this information. Oh, I suppose. Now, go and hide the compass in Sagita, as we discussed. I will remain here and, um, monitor events. <laughs> Got it. If you need to get in touch, we're only a pendant away. But we're going to get out of here now. Oh, what what's going on now? Charades? What's going on? Um, okay. Huh? Is this some kind of a joke? Uh, did all the cats, like, from the various cities come here or something? Oh, okay. Uh... Is this some kind of a game? Well, I know what they're thinking. Ah, uh, okay. What do you mean? Whoops, uh, Idea said sure was. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have anything to say now? Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, thank you. But, uh, okay, so we got that. What else is going on here? I will try to talk to as many cats as I can. But I'll see what I can do. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. It sounds like it's supposed to mean something. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh. No, I don't think so. Not in real life, anyway. But, uh, okay. What do we got? Oh. Okay, never mind, then. Mm, gotta lay in the sun, I guess. Oh, yeah, I suppose you would do that, wouldn't you? But, uh, okay, is there anything else? Or any other kitties around here? I don't think so. Unless there's, like, one up here? No, I can't get up there. Okay, never mind. We're done with our business here. Let's get out of here, and I'll, I'll need to make some preparations. Heading over to Sagita. I shouldn't need to make too many changes, though. 
I like keeping the bloody shield equipped on Tiz because he doesn't really need a whole lot of weapons to be effective with Godspeed Strike. And I don't really care about mug damage. I mean, I'll take what I can get, but I'm not going to, like, worry about it for the most part. And by the way, uh, when you fight consecutive battles, uh, all of those battles count towards Bloody Shield uh, uncursing there. So you don't have to, like, fight a battle, win it, then go find another battle, win that. No, no, you can fight all the consecutive battles you want, and you'll be fine. Okay, so we're looking good here so far. I still want to stick with Catmancy. We'll have multiple targets. And let's see, with Tiz, I still want him to be stealing some stuff. So we'll leave the abilities alone. I think the only thing I really need to change is uh, equipping Falcon Knives, one of my favorite weapons in the game. Lots of job classes have maximum proficiency with it. And it boosts your agility by five. So that's pretty nice. Let me see if I can... Uh, yeah, there you go. But it'll actually increase it by more than five if you have decent proficiency with knives there. So, yeah, you get a lot of it. So not only is it an ideal weapon for a thief, but it also helps out Godspeed Strike a little more, too. So that's pretty nice. If only we could get more of them. But for now, we'll leave it like this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, equipment is good there. You're good. Let's see. I want to actually equip Magnolia with the gauntlets there. Not because I care about the physical defense, but because I want her to have less speed than Idea. And Tiz there, so that Idea's Rock Storm can just wipe out, or deal maximum damage or total damage between multiple targets there. Before Magnolia does her thing. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're good to go there. That ought to be good enough. Rest up, and then we'll head over to Sagitta. We're gonna have some items to see or to steal, so we will. I do have the Thief Gloves on Tiz, right? We will need that. Okay, good, good. Okay, got that. Let's head on over there. So, yeah, this is why I came to Sagitta earlier. Because I would imagine after these events, we will... Uh, yeah, some of the people would say different stuff. Why don't we save here... I forget if the cutscene starts right away. Okay, I guess not. Okay. I thought it might happen upon entering the village, not going into the the residential area. How is this a residential area? There's no, like, houses here or much of anything. But in any case, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I guess you guys still say the same stuff as before. Okay, never mind. Talk to Fusoya. Or whatever this guy's name is. I welcome you, ah. Emissary of the Moon, and your companions. Well, I mean, they are from the moon, so... Elder, the target is within firing range. Well, good, good. Our mortal enemy has come. So, are you guys gonna just... Blow the whole thing up now? Today we fulfill our long-held duty and atone for the sin of our forebear. Oh, what do you mean? What sin? Ready the SP cannon. Full spread, maximum yield. That's your whole duty? Wait, you. What about your brother? He made his decisions. It's all right. He has to be stopped. Good. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Lotus, give control of the cannon to you, Jenny Olja. So as to maximize his potential grief. Elder? When you are ready, boy, pull the trigger. Y yes, sir. Denny, I'm sorry. I'm not. 
So, are we gonna... Am I doing anything here? No? You just gotta press, like, any button and it'll go. There you go! Did it work? Well, that didn't do a whole lot. I guess it kind of cracked the diamond a little bit. What was that shaking just meow? An ambush? Well, that's the idea. Preposterous! Was Manette in for Meowshin Superhighway? <laughs> Compromised? Mm, maybe. Calm yourself, Minette. You are not to blame. Yeah, you didn't shoot the cannon. Still, we'd better do something before things get hairy. Can we shoot it again? Leave it to me. I got us into this, and I'll get us me out. Minette will buy time. Time enough for your Meowjesty to turn tail and escape. So, what are you guys trying to do now, anyway? You what? I mean, you're not even, like, going after the crystals or anything. But, but that would be a suicide mission. That's the idea. I don't care. Manette just doesn't want to be museless. Well, you are. Thank you, your meow Justy, for taking Manette by your side. For the first time in so long, Manette was part of a family. Of murderers! Just promise me you won't forget, Manette. Yeah? Manette, you... You will not be forgotten, nor the dream you fought for. Meow! Meow! <laughs> That's all Manette needed to hear. Your dream of murdering everyone? Farewell, my friends! Meow! I mean, she is a cat girl. Uh-oh. Go, Bismarck. Double trouble. The skyhold is on fire. It's losing speed fast. How can a diamond be set on fire? How does it even work? A new de jouet. Bring the rubber dub alongside and let's board. Oh, um, okay. You filthy liars. Mew pay for this. How did you get here so quickly? She jumped from the skyhold, and she's headed this way. Okay. Whoa. We can't always land on our feet, no matter how far we fall. Oh, well, that's a nice power. Meow, put up your paws. I'm not letting you flea bags anywhere near the skyhold. We could just shoot it again. Uh, is that... Busy! Good little kitty. Just say, <laughs> is that supposed to be, like, dramatic or scaring me? If you're trying to scare me, you're not doing a good job. <sighs> Looks like we have to fight. <laughs> I do this for Mew, your meow just Just watch me, okay? Be com... <laughs> Be completely ineffective for boss time. Okay, so let's see. This time we only have one item that I care to steal. So, but you is going to be the same as ever. Let's see, Adia. Yeah, we'll just go quadruple rock storm, Magnolia. Get your holy ready to go, and for Tiz. Okay, let's go one mug, then Godspeed Strike, yeah, probably Minette, and then Mimic that, and that ought to be good. Alright, there we go, Cross Axe, much more powerful than the ones we, well, maybe not a lot more powerful, but it is more powerful than the ones we've been using before. There you go. 
just a little bit more on Minette. Ah, I'd forgotten how tough she is behind that cutesy exterior. Not that I'm much. Guessing you've given up on the world too. Meow. You know nothing about Minette. Oh, but I we do. When his Majesty first spoke to me, I was in a cardboard box, trembling all alone. <laughs> Gonna die. He told Minette that he needed me. Don't you see? I have to help him. I don't want to be abandoned. You're about to be. I don't want to be alone ever again. I hate humans. They shut me in a room full of noisy machines. They wrap me in white and stuck me with prickly needles and pipes. Huh. She, she told me I wasn't a cat. You aren't. Uh, no. Meow. They got me. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Mommy was right. I am useless after all. Well, you got a good asterisk. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, finish the job then. Boom. Good enough. <laughs> Cat feathers. Well, I'd throw you off the edge of the airship, but, uh, yeah, that wouldn't really do a whole lot. Thrown out on the streets like a stray. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I don't want to be alone anymore. I have to keep fighting. Too bad. Stop it. Your body can't take anymore. Mia, right. Minette is too weak. That's why... I'll always be alone. I thought cats like being left alone. Meow? For my information superhighway? What? What's going on? Lady Minette, I am Tsubaki, your loyal servant. Okay, what's with the accent? I meow you. You were the one with the sword man. And you tried murdering him. The same. I am heading to your side with all haste. Pray do not do anything rash. What could a single house cat do to save me? You misunderstand, milady. A simple house cat I may be, yet I bask in the unconditional love of my master. I was a lonely stray, cast from the clouder. But now I feast on kippers and the choicest cuts of meat. After I adopted him, my master sacrifices everything for me. Since taking me in, he dines on nothing but rice gruel every single day. Well, whatever he needs. Hmm. Well, good for me. I had his majesty, but now, now. You don't have every, anyone. My lady Minette, you must not lose your faith in humans. There are many kind-hearted souls out there. Not that many. Oh. Whoa, Master! I didn't know we brought you along. Minette, not Cabby. Meow? Tsubaki speaks true. It is too soon to give up on humankind. If you have nowhere else to go, come stay with us. Where? I thought you were kind of moving all over the place. Meow? Tsubaki wants you here. It's what you've always wished for, is it not? A family? Uh, I guess. <sighs> a family? But I can't just... That isn't how it works. How what works? Don't be so sure. My home is humble, 
but it could be a happy one for you. Meow. Yeah, just uh, keep the lion in the backyard. The winters are hard and the wind is cold, but the wood stove is always burning. With a fluffy cushion in front of it? How would you use a stove made out of wood? I wouldn't have to do anything. I could take naps whenever I wanted. Well, you're a cat. No one can stop you. <laughs> but of course, catnap to your little heart's content. You are welcome too, my regal friend. Just do, um, promise not to eat anyone. <laughs> Too bad we can't talk to Bismarck. I guess he doesn't exactly count as a cat, as far as that's concerned. Could it be true? Minette won't be the lonely stray anymore? Mew! 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 Oh, kind and noble Lord Kamiao is you, Mew! So, do you just eat cat food or something? It will take some time, as these things often do. But I assure you, you shall come to be one of the family. Mr. Kami Izumi is an honorable man. You can trust him. Just as long as there's no murdering, everything will be fine. Splendid work, my friends. Oh, we brought you along too, huh? How goes it, Mr. Lotus? All is going according to plan. I thought the plan was over. Firing the cannon forced the sky hold east. It's trying to flee to Eternia. Right. But it has suffered great damage. Its movement is slow. Oh, okay. We can't let them escape. Professor Noisen, come in. What about him? You called my shining stars? What are you doing anyway? Focus, my pupils. Send all the power you can muster to the crystal. Well, I, I think Pudgius doesn't have any. This is the passion and soul of a scholar! Check this out. I didn't earn my five stars for nothing. I thought you just bought them. <laughs> stronger, my children. Stronger! So, what are you going to do with this thing? Behold, our magic flows into the crystal and its power grows! Bit like a different kind of crystal? What's going on? Whoa! You're just gonna sink it? Oh, someone else? <laughs> it worked! What worked? Holds it helpless above the ocean. Oh, you must seize this chance. Prepare for battle and board the fortress. Well, that'll make it easier. You got it, Professor, and thank you. I'll leave the rest in your eminently capable hands, sir. Six stars. I can't wait to see a six star scholar in action. Well, you're not going to be with us. I will be hoping, wishing, and praying for your swift and triumphant return. Professor Norzen, Rifa, Pudgius, thank you. All of you. Ah, uh, Well done. While you pursue the Skyhold, I shall take this child and... What's up? Take care, everyone. And come back safe, meow. <laughs> oh. Is she taking a cat nap? Something like that. Master Kamizumi, a moment if you would. What more do you want? What is it, Professor? I have little time to discuss gardening now. <laughs> what? No, no, not that. I just wanted to ask you to look after the girl. For me. You mean Minette or Rifa? Ah, 
Minette Mapkati. I knew your mother well. I didn't think you were aware of her existence until she murdered you. Many years ago, the Orthodoxy tasked me with creating a vaccine that would end the Great Plague. Oh. Sure enough, a year later, the pestilence had run its course. And murdered much of the world's population. So, you succeeded in developing a cure? I fear not, my boy. Oh. Nuts. The sad truth is, the initial strain of the disease had simply run out of victims to claim. Well, there's plenty more! Oh. But that initial strain spread across the land, mixing with local diseases and growing ever more virulent. Nuts. The second pandemic was nigh. If such a plague took hold, civilization on Luxendark would face utter extinction. Our team of researchers worked night and day, day and night, to develop a vaccine before it was too late. But you didn't succeed. It was a race against time. We scarcely slept, driven by the fear that if we failed, our world was doomed. Well, your world is always doomed for... One reason or another. Four long years later, we finally discovered the cure. Oh, good, good. A key member of my team was none other than Minette Napkati's mother. And what happened to her? Still young she was, but with a brilliant mind. It was her discovery that led to our breakthrough, to wit. Not a single cat had perished to the plague. Um, okay. Why would it affect them in the first place? She collected samples from cats around the world, trying to isolate the source of their resistance. She developed a prototype reagent and, unbeknownst to us, began testing it on herself. Oh. Well, you gotta test it somehow. In the end, her work would claim her life. But not before she found our salvation. Hey! As a young mother, she cared profoundly for her newborn daughter. But as a researcher, she made the steel-hearted choice to act for the greater good. She fed this substance to her newborn girl? Well. Just so. Not long after, we began to receive ominous reports that the second pandemic was showing signs of emergence. Half the people in the world were dead, and this new disease threatened to claim the rest. Whoa. Times were desperate. I didn't know it was quite that many. We pored over the data Minette's mother had gathered from her experiments. And from the antibodies she had cultivated in her daughter's blood, we at long last found our cure. Hey! Incroyable! I can't believe my ears! That would explain why the child shares such a bond with felines. Oh, I guess. Minette's mother was desperate to find the cure. Her obsession overwhelmed everything else. Well, yeah, we kind of don't want to die. Even the love she had for her young daughter. Oh. Brave saw the signs that the Great Plague was coming. He was the one who urged the professor to begin his research. Oh. By the time you and Manette's mother finally conquered the plague, Brave had raised the standard of revolt and defeated the ruling church. <laughs> and so does the Wheel of Fortune turn. What do you mean? A young girl victimized by fate has found her way to me. A fellow cat fancier. I, Swordmaster Kami Izumi, vow to protect and safeguard the girl. Professor, when this battle is over, pray visit our humble home. Are you, uh, like going back to Eternia or something? But, uh, uh... I have some fine shrubbery in my garden. It would be an honor to show it to you. Oh, in the snow? Shrubbery, you say? Oh, I suppose I can find the time. Can you find us another shrubbery? 
No, I guess not. You seem out of sorts, you. I suppose that was some story. Yeah, lots of bits and pieces to this whole plague. Indeed. But we must attend to the task at hand. To the skyhold with you. Aye, aye, sir. Well, we've been everywhere else. But, uh, okay, so. We're done with all that. Now, let's see. Well, going into the Skyhold, we are going to have some random enemies to fight. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, so with my current setup, I... Yeah, why don't we uh, save over that one? We're going to be needing to steal again soon. But yeah, at the Skyhold... Uh, none of the enemies have more than 10,000 HP, and let's see, none of them are strong against earth or light elemental damage, so it's really easy to chain a lot of battles together. So, let's see, with my setup here, well, we don't really need a lot of uh, water or or what is it? Yeah, water or fire elemental damage. So I'm actually going to switch to barrage because of how easy it is to, like, brave attacks and chain together a whole bunch of battles together there. Let's see. Yeah, I find barrage to be more useful than even in the red here. Just because of uh, we get a lot of brave attacks, I'm not going to be in negative BP for very long. So I prefer to use that for the Skyhold. Let's see, with Idea. Let's see, I'm going to get rid of Waste Knot. I do need to make an unusual change to my setup using both Knuckle Lore and Axe Lore that'll barely let her or, well, enable her to be able to kill any random enemy with a single shot. So that's part of what makes it a lot easier for her. And then, let's see, with Magnolia, I think we'll just leave her alone there. Yeah, that ought to be good. And then for Tiz, well, I don't have items to steal, but I would like to have Quad Wield to use with... Godspeed strike there. Okay, and then let's see. Let's get precog, whisker sense, and a little bit more speed to help out. Okay, and then for you, let's see. I actually want to give him the lambent hat since there's going to be a lot of enemies weak to lightning. And then, yeah, everything else we leave alone there. Let's see, with Idea, I need to give her the best tech claws. That's the strongest one that we've got at the moment. And I also want to use the Cross Axe. And, yeah, just like the first game, it's strong against demons. But now it's also strong against plants as well. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, if you're just going to use axes and... Uh, knuckles there why don't you just use Catmancer instead and well the thing is is that uh, let's see with Idea there if I were to make her into a Catmancer I would then want to give her dual wield which would take the place of Knuckle Lore and Axe Lore anyway so even among support skills you don't really gain anything by doing that. Not to mention, Catmancer has a much higher hit count scaling than Ninja does, so you would actually deal less damage. So I'm just going to leave that alone there. Let's see, with Magnolia, yeah, we don't need to make any changes for her. For Tiz, though, let's see, let's get him back on the bloody shield there. And then, let's see, yeah, most of the enemies are going to be humanoids, so that'll be useful there. And to fill out the last spot, yeah, let's just get a good falcon knife going there for a little extra agility. And Hermes sandals. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we might as well rest up here, get a little more MP going there. And then we'll head to the Skyhold, but this time things will be different. 
Okay, so let's see. The Skyhold is pretty close to Gathladio, so we might as well head over there. And let's see where... Ah, there you are. So they can't get out, but we can get in. I guess that's how it works. We're going aboard, Professor. Be safe, my children. That is enough, my students. So are you just gonna... Uh, drop the water or whatever for just a moment? Eat, rest, and replenish your strength. We will have need of you again before long. We will? All right, here we go. Fire up the baths. Full steam ahead. What about the baths? What does that have to do with anything? My brother and his followers are in here. They sure are. Let's go. It's time to finish this. Surely this is the final dungeon. I mean, we've been everywhere else. The bow that destroyed Fat Loon is here too. Oh, yeah, we didn't really notice that when we came here the first time, though. My home, my people shall be avenged. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. I mean, you are an Avenger, but uh, now, since we're in Chapter 5, we don't need to go down here to get through the whole place. We can just go right over here. Yeah, the bridge, I guess, didn't get damaged in the same way in the first game. So now we can take the other entrance into the Skyhold. That'll make the trip a lot faster. What do we got going on here? Oh, what's going on? Oh, what is it? Oh. I mean, Kaiser Oblivion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's the name of the thing. I think they mentioned it before, though. Glans Empire. Hmm. Well, they didn't do a very good job, did they? Not anymore. Not. Well, then, I mean, how did he, uh... Well, I guess he still had money at the time. Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't worry about that. Probably not important. But let's see. If we go up here... Kind of hard to see where I'm going. Hey! hey Alright! A new stat that I don't think I ever use. But let me see what that one does. What do we got? Oh! You can, uh, I guess, it cast Asuna or something. So... I guess that could be useful if you let enemies live long enough to do that. But, no, I have no plans of using that. Let's see, up here, we got a Death Axe. Let me see if that's actually more powerful than what we already got. I don't think so, for some reason. Yeah, kind of weird to give us Cross Axe before a Death Axe. Hmm, that kind of reminds me of the kill spell in Final Fantasy III with the spell or whatever it casts or something. Kind of strange, but okay. But uh, yeah, let's continue onward then. So yeah, we don't need to go through the whole maze and all that stuff all over again. Just come up here. Boom, we're good to go. History of the Empire, Part 1. Oh, um, would that be, uh, what was his name? Geist? Yeah, there we go. Oh, hmm. So, what is he doing then? Oh, 
Ah. Ah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, what about them? Well, that's not very many. Oh. Well, that was pointless. But alright, let's continue onward. We need to, yeah, get this moved over so we can get right to the end. Well, that's easy. Is there any guards around here or anything? We're almost to the end of our journey, aren't we? Mm, something like that. Yeah. All that remains is to stop the Kaiser. If you've got something that still needs doing, now's the time. Another no turning back point? Indeed. Regrets are like rutabagas. Far better overcooked than left untouched in the pantry. Um, I wouldn't know, but okay. Whoa, all tires back. And making as much sense as ever. Yeah, pretty much. I remember you said something similar before about leaving things undone in this world. You're not from this world, though, are you? Ah, uh, that. I was speaking of a personal matter. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Of a woman I loved. A woman I still love. Oh, she's alive? I speak of Vega. My light. My life. My everything. Oh. You miss her. With all my heart. But she is lost to me. Forever. That's... Oh. I hail from a different world than you. A place you know as the Celestial Realm. Oh, sorry. Spoiled that by minutes and or seconds in advance vega was from the celestial realm too it was there that we met fell in love and were married oh sounds like a nice place but this was so so many years ago and the joy was all too brief well, good thing we stopped the robberies the celestial realm was beset by a calamity that threatened to wipe out all life as we knew it are you talking about a Rabris? And so it was that we boarded a ship and fled for safety. Oh. Our destination was a lush, verdant planet known as Luxendark. Oh, okay. So Vega came here with you? No. There was an unfortunate mishap. And she did not make it on board in time. Oh, that's... By the time I realized she was not with us, it was too late. Oh, well. I had no choice but to continue the journey with my fellow voyagers. I would give anything to see her again, even for a fraction of a nanosecond. Though my body is long gone, and only my soul remains, her memory still haunts me. I'm so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. But forgive me. I should not burden you with such things as your final battle draws nigh. Pay no heed to my idle ramblings. My regrets are mine alone to bear. But hear me well. If you truly love someone, make your feelings known before it is too late. Well, you didn't? <sighs> yes. Especially you. What about him? Huh? What, m me? With the right dressing, a simple piece of lettuce can become a salad. Okay. Yes, presentation can be important. I speak of candles, a red tablecloth, that sort of thing. What is all this? Hmm? Red tablecloth? Oh, but I have already said too much. The rest is up to you. Bon courage! Uh, thanks? <laughs> oh, and perhaps you could lend Tiz that pendant. 
What about him? I believe he has something to tell someone. Now, if you will excuse me, adieu. Goodbye. Uh, yes. Here you go, sir. Dude. Oh, okay. I guess you're not going to be talking anymore. Game? But all right. Here we've got, whoa, a whole bunch of new enemies. Well, let's see what we can do with these guys. So, yeah, the beat type is inorganic, weak to lightning. Katana, I think, is weak to lightning. And Sniper's weak to water. But that's not especially important. Let me see what my speed looks like. Okay, yeah, Tiz will definitely act before Idea. So, let's have Tiz examine each of these guys. As long as... We've got a bunch of new enemies there. And then Adia should be able to finish him off probably with a single rock storm there. But otherwise, yeah, nothing too extraordinary here. Yeah, look at that damage. So we barely have enough damage for Adia to be able to defeat one of those Iron Men there. Okay. Then, let's see, this time around, well, we don't have a Dia to help out. So, why don't we have Magnolia take these guys down? I could probably kill them all with two Stardusts. So, let's give a couple extra BP over to Idea there. And then, yeah, that ought to be good. Hey, we got Waste Knot. Triple Waste Knot. I will take what I can get. I was about to say, unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of brave attacks, but, well, we just got one. Let's see, all these guys weak to lightning, so why don't we have you take these guys down? Although, I would like to be able to offload some BP to maybe Magnolia there, or Idea. Yeah, why don't we get one more for Idea there, then if you... Oh, wait, hold on, I need to examine one of these guys. Yeah, one of them is new. Let's see. I think it's the... Yeah, the E-type there. And then... Okay, so we got that. Let's... Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to have enough left over to be able to afford using... Or passing over BP. So we'll just leave that alone. And this really isn't an extraordinary opportunity to do that anyway. Okay, barely enough to get... Uh, get them with two lightning spells but yeah everyone else is so low on bp there other than idea and i wouldn't want to get her bp any higher if we got a brave attack or something so yeah that i wouldn't want to use that there either but we'll just keep going with good rock storm should probably be able to get at least a couple more battles out of this or we can just keep on getting more uh, brave attacks. Why not? Let's see. There is one more uh, Iron Man enemy here. But so far, we're not finding them. Would be nice to get another brave attack. Though, I don't want Idea passing around the BP. Her own BP is good enough. Ah, there we go. The last one. The A-type. Okay, so let's go with, yeah, the examine there. And then maybe I should pass over some BP, like, to you there. Let's do that. And then a couple rock storms. That ought to be good enough. I could have maybe given another BP to Magnolia there. But I figured it was better to do it this way. Okay, so now with you, hmm, I'm probably going to need three spells to kill these guys. So how about we give one more to Magnolia? Let's see, two lightning. Uh, I want more than that. Let's try that again. Get a BP for Magnolia. 
two lightning and a frost spell just in case I need it to finish off the sniper there. But I suppose we'll find out in a moment. Yep. Good call. I think this area is where I had the most success with... Uh, what is it? Stringing together several consecutive battles. I, I had like over 40 one time without even trying. But because I have to do so much examining, that's going to be a lot more difficult here. And let's see. Now, yeah, we're not going to be fighting any more consecutive battles. So no point in swapping around BP. Oh. Huh. I. Yeah, that's odd. I didn't realize those guys could do that. They're probably going to kill someone with, well, whenever they come out of hiding, I guess. Ow. Ow. Okay, we got him now. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we just use that to get priority before they can use Sharpshooter. That'll do. But can we stop the Kaiser in the Skyhold? from his plans? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!